Good day. We are the group Nofar Jade Lopez and Armel Lomaca discussing about the justice and fairness and mandated topic taxation. So here we will start. Many public policy arguments focus on fairness. Is a primitive action fair or a congressional district's drone to be fair? Is our tax policy fair? Is our method for funding schools fair? Arguments about justice or fairness have a long tradition in Western civilization. In fact, no idea in Western civilization has been more consistently linked to ethics and morality than the idea of justice. From the Republic, written by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato to a theory of justice, written by the late Herbert philosopher John Rawls, every major work on ethics has held that justice is part of the cent central core of morality. Justice means giving each person what he or she deserves, or in more traditional terms, giving each person his or her due. Justice and fairness are closely related terms that are often today used interchangeably. There have, however, also been more dis distinct understandings of the two terms. While justice usually has been used with reference to a standard of rightness, fairness often has been used with regard to an ability to judge without reference to one's feelings or interests, fairness has also been used to refer to the ability to make judgment, judgments that are not overly general but, the, but that are concrete and specific to a particular case. In any case, a notion of being treated as one deserves is crucial to both justice and fairness. When people differ over what they believe and should be given, or when decisions have to be made about how benefits and burden, burdens should be distributed among the group of people. Questions of justice or fairness inevitably arise. In fact, most ethicists today hold the view that there would be no point of talking about justice or fairness if it were not for the conflicts of interest that were, are created when goods and services are scarce and people differ over who should get what. When such conflicts arise in our society, we need principles of justice what that we can all accept as reasonable and fair standards for determining what people deserve. But saying that justice is giving each person what he or deserves does not take us very far. How do we determine what people deserve, what criteria and what principles should we use to determine what is due to this per this or that person principles of justice the most fundamental principle of justice one that has been widely accepted and since it was first defined by aristotle more than two two thousand years ago is the principle that equals should be treated equally and unequals unequally in its contemporary form this principle is sometimes expressed as follows Individuals should be treated the same unless they differ in ways that are relevant to the situation in which they are involved. For example, if Jack, if Jack and Jill both do the same work and there are no relevant differ differences between them or the work they are doing, then in justice they should be paid the same wage. And if Jack is paid more than Jill sim simply because he is a man or because he is white then we have an injustice a form of discrimination because race and sex are not really but no normal work situations there are however many differences that we deem as justifiable criteria for treating people differently for example we think it is fair fair and just when a parent gives his own children more attention and care in his private affairs than he gives the children of others. We think it is fair when the person is first in a line at a theater is given first cho choice of theater tickets. We think it is just when the government gives benefits to the needy that it does not provide to more affluent citizens. We think it is just when some who have done wrong are given punishments that are not meted out to others who have done nothing wrong and we think and we think it is fair 
when those who exert more efforts or who make a greater contribution to a project receive more benefits from the project than others. This criteria needed desert contribution and effort we acknowledge as the justifying differential treatment there then are numerous. On the other hand, there are also criteria that we believe are not justifiable grounds for giving people different treatment. In the world of work, for example, we generally hold that is it is unjust to give individuals especially treatment on this on the basic basis of age, sex, race or their religious preferences. If the judge nephew receives a suspended sentence for for armed robbery when another offender unrelated to the judge goes to the jail for the same crime, or the brother of the director of public works gets a million dollar contract to install sprinklers on the municipal golf course despite lower bids from the other contractors, we say that is unfair. We also believe it is fair when a person is punished for something over which he or she had no control or is not compensated, compensated for a harm he or she suffered. Different kinds of justice. There are different kinds of justice. Distributive justice refers to the extent to which society institutions ensure that the benefits or burden are distributed among society's members in ways that are fair and just. When the ins institutions of society distribute benefits or burdens in an unjust, unjust, unjust ways, there is a strong presumption that those institutions should be changed. For example, the American institutions of slavery in the pre-civil war, South was condemned as unjust because it was a glaring case of treating people different, differently on the basis of race. A second important kind of justice is retributive or corrective justice. Retributive justice refers to the extent to which punishments are fair and just, and general punishments are held to be just to the extent that what they take into account relevant criteria such as the seriousness of the justice of the, of the crime and the intent of the criminal and is count irrelevant criteria such, a, such as a race. It would be barbarously unjust, for example, to chop off a person of a hand in stealing a dime, or to impose to death penalty on a person who will by accident, accident and without negligence injured another party. Studies have frequently sh shown that when blacks murder whites, they are much more likely to receive death sentences than when whites murder whites or black murder blacks. There are studies suggest that injustice still exists in a criminal justice system in the United States. Yet, a third important of kind of justice is compensatory justice. Compensatory justice refers to the extent to which people are unfairly compensated for their injuries by, the, by those who have injured them. Just compensation is proportional to the loss inflicted on a person. This is precisely the kind of justice that is at stake in debates over damage to workers. Held in coal mines, some arg argue that mine owners should compensate the workers too, whose health has been ruined. Other, others argue that workers voluntarily took on this risk when they choose employment in the mines. The foundations of justice can be traced to the notions of social stability, inter interdependence, and equal dignity. As the ethicist John Rawls has point out, pointed out that stability of society or any group for that matter depends upon the extent to which the members of the society feel that they are, they are being treated justly. When some of society members come to the field that they are subject to unequal treatment, the foundations have been laid for social unrest, disturbances, and strife. The members of community rules all depend on each other and they will retain their social unity only, a, only to the extent that their institutions are just. Moreover, as the philosopher Immanuel Kant and other, others have pointed out, human beings are all equal in this respect. They all have the same dignity. In the virtue of this dignity, they deserve to be treated as equals. Whenever individuals are treated unequally, on the basis of characteristics that are arbitrary, arbitrary and irrelevant, their fundamental human dignity is violated.
Justice, then, this is a, is a central part of ethics and should be given due consideration in our moral life, lives. In evaluating any moral decision, we must ask whether or action treat all persons equally. If not, we must determine whether the difference in treatment is justified. Are the criteria we are using relevant to the situation at hand? But justice is not only principle to consider in making ethical decisions. Sometimes, principle of justice may need to be overridden in favor of other kinds of moral claims such as rights or society welfare. Nevertheless, justice is an expression of our, of our mutual recognition of each other basic dignity and an acknowledgement that if we are to live together in the in an interdependent community, we must treat each other as equals. My topic is taxation. What is taxation? Taxation is the imposition of compulsory levies on individuals or entities by government in almost every country of the world. Taxation is used primarily, primarily to raise revenue for government ex expenditures Truth, it can serve other purpose as well. How does taxation relate to government revenue? In modern economies, taxes are the most Im important source of governmental revenue. However, tax taxation is not government only source of revenue. Taxes differ from other sources of revenue in that they are compulsory levies and are and require they are generally not paid in exchange for some specific thing. Purpose of Taxation During the 19th century, the prevalent ideas was that taxes should, ser should serve mainly to finance the government. In early times and again today, government have Taxation for other than merely fiscal purposes. What type of taxation is a direct tax? A direct tax is a type of taxation of an individual that is typically based on the individual's ability to pay as measured by income, composition, or net wealth. What type of tax taxation is a direct tax? An indirect tax is a type of taxation live on the production or con consumption of goods and ser services on transactions. What kinds of taxation is what value added tax? Value added tax or what is a type of indirect taxation live by a government on the amount that a business adds to the price of a Commodity during production and distribution of a good. Value added tax or VAT is collected through the credit method which recognize and adjust for the taxes paid on previously purchased inputs. Taxes in general represent a much higher percentage of national output in developed countries than in developing countries. Similarly, more national output is channeled to governmental use to taxation in developing countries with the highest levels of income. That in, that in those which lesser income ended, it may respect the tax system of the developing countries with the highest levels of income have more in common with those developed countries than they have with the tax system of, of the poorest developing countries. Thank you.